All right, guys, good morning. What's going on? We're back again. Um, not sure what we're gonna get into today, but we're about to find out right about now. Did I just do it? I did it again. No, I'm not gonna do that anymore. What, what should I do? What should I do? We're gonna, we're about to find out right now. That's me from now on. Right now, prodigal sons, right now, dude, with the hammer fist, yes. Because you know what? <clears throat> we get hammered at the skate park and we get back up and talk about it, right? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I got my boys over there. They're getting in. You can't see them because it's portrait video and it's trying to blur out the background, but we're about to turn this camera around right now. So let's see. Guys, can you hit the like button for me? Dude, my views are down so low. Inspire me, inspire me to come back and hit it harder. Inspire me to, to get the rock and roll back again. Inspire your boy. Hammer that like button for me. Why not? Why not, dude? I'm not asking for money. Just hit the like button. Come on, dude. All right. A lot of old guys are haters. We know that. They like to watch the content, but they like to hate about it. You know who you are. I started liking everybody's video just because, right? It's a playlist. I could probably delete it when I'm 100. Anyway, let's turn around and watch this video. Let's get into this. Uh, these videos, this video is designed for your TV. So if you're not watching on your TV, start watching them on your TV because they're best with coffee, okay? Right before the morning movement. Alright fam, here we are today. Uh, my, my, uh, my main dude here, Seth, forgot his helmet. He's going to take a, a couple of runs with his brother's helmet at some point. But he's like, Dad, yo, let me do the filming today. And if I do a good job at filming, can I earn shakes and cheese fries at In-N-Out? And yes, of course. Do a good job on that for sure. I've been uh, watching Killian and we have another camera on him. And he's been doing stalls, getting like five, ten in a row. It's like pretty crazy. So I haven't really been paying attention, but I'll look back when I edit. This GoPro view right down here, let's see, is my foot. That's on a wide setting. So that may not make the transition look as steep and deep as it is. That's the thing that you never see me upload video footage that has uh, ultra wide. Because, man, it just makes a bowl look like a plate. And uh, that's not fair. It's not, it's not good. I had a guy out here, this was years ago, seven years ago, wanted to come spank me in this bowl. He goes, that's the easiest bowl. I'm going to come out there and I want to skate with you. But then when he got here, he got a lot of respect because he was like, wow, this thing is way more serious than I thought. I honestly thought I was going to come out here and spank you on this and um, I'm surprised that this is as hard as it, it is because it looked so easy. Whoa, whoa, that's a good way to munch my camera. What would that do to the camera? Come over here. Point it right here down the sideline. So put, it, put the camera like right here. What would that do to the camera? Oh, that dude, that mangled the camera. Look at the view here. Pointed at me. Let's see what we got now. Did it get the lens? It looks like my lens is fine, but it looks like I got a little crack on this cage. It's okay. I can't screw up like that again, though, can I? Make sure this is tightened up enough. You guys, suck it in, boys. You're getting tight. Ah! All right. So 
I don't really feel warmed up enough to do a whole run, but we're just going to do it. Whoa! You hear that camera hit? Whoa! <sighs> Woo! The GoPro got ground down, dude. Why is that hitting right there? Huh, do we know why? The slash grind. Somehow... Oh, right there, dude. Do you see me? Hmm. The light's on. I think that means the camera's on. So, clearance-wise, you guys can see there is not much clearance if I'm up in those grooves. Um, I think that last grind was like this. Probably better for the camera. Not the view I wanted though. I wanted to get this view. But now I see how kind of sketchy that is. All right guys, so we're gonna turn off this camera. It's already got me into a weird mode and I wanna stay focused on getting comfortable with my front side axle drops, my front side, 50-50 grinds and I think if I stay I think it's a defense mechanism sometimes it makes me bring some idea like this out rather than just be like focus on ripping it so uh, I'm gonna work on this camera setup get it lower to the board and then I'll do it again plus I'll be saving the camera ready Seth these switches Whoa, dude. Dang. <laughs> I spent three of my nine lives on that one. Dang. Yeah. I'm gonna wash away the ideas of that last run and I'm gonna stick it on this one. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that grind. I got it. That grind over there was smoking. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. He's talking about how bad the sun. When he comes up the wall right here, he's looking right into that sun. I don't think some old man eyes would be able to do that at all. So <sighs> that says something for the youngins. I'm really out of breath. I chased you on that run, dude. I'm like legit tired now. Whew. Um, 
you're doing a good job cameraman haven't seen the footage yet but it's looking like it's pretty good so far you can't end the skate day without having seth take a couple runs with his bro's helmet on it'll work it's a little tight yeah so i had some comments lately about pro tech helmets these full cut helmets dudes having trouble having them fit part of the reason seth doesn't fit very good in this helmet is because he's got more of an oval shaped head meaning that the forehead and the back are a little longer distance whereas killian and i both have really round heads so we have no problem with protec helmets they fit me like a glove that's why i can wear it without a strap and i've crashed how many times never had that come off so protec helmet may not be the best choice for you if you've got an oval head or if you've ever felt helmets pushing on the center of your forehead if you're wearing a helmet like that though that's a certified helmet You can very easily, whoa, yeah, something a little different. Pump it. You can very easily take that thin padded liner out. Let's get one more, okay? You can very easily take the thin Velcro padded liner out and you could take like some sandpaper or a file of some kind, a rasp, and you could just rub away some of the styrofoam along the forehead. I used a Dremel for my wife on a helmet and I've done that before for Seth and it works. Then you strap the, you know, the padded foam back in and you're good to go. Oh yeah, looked good that one. Yeah. Nice. All right, let me get a couple of runs. And uh, I'm going front side, guys. As I'm feeling the fear, and I'm gonna do it anyway, I'm thinking about a comment I had from a really smart skater. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but he has the thought process of it dialed in. And he told me, Roman, when you approach this spot, try to imagine yourself as water. It's like if you took like a bowl, a cereal bowl, a deep cereal bowl or a salad bowl with water in it and you swish it around and think of it as slow motion when the water goes up, goes up over the edge and you swish it right back into the bowl and just think of that. And, and when I read his comment, I visualized it and was like, dude, that's it right there. Because if you think about the way water would flow over that scenario, you're not thinking about the hang up, the jagged clip, you know, um, the sticky coping. You're thinking of it in the most positive way you can. Yeah, maybe water, but I don't know. There's something to that imagery that I'm gonna push into this right here. We just got an RO machine. We've never drank water with fluoride in it, tap water here in Texas forever. I haven't been drinking water like that for probably 20 years. So um, if that was your company, this could be an advertisement. But that water is amazing. You probably uh, could look into an RO, a reverse osmosis machine for your family's drinking water. It's pretty amazing. You know, and if the shit hit the fan, you couldn't get a bottle of water. I could go into Brushy Creek and I could even filter water like that. So that's pretty epic. All right, so I'm going front side. You ready? I gotta tell myself that water, be like water. Oh man, that helped. All right, that really helped. And as I was going around the deep end, I thought, be like water. And when I come up here on this hip, 
in the in latest clips you've seen from the last several weeks, it's, it's, it kind of looks jagged. And it felt a little jagged on that one. But as I was trying to be like water here, I put a little bit less. I'll, I'll be interested to see how bad it looks right here. But I put a little less effort and I tried to flow. And then when I came up into that, I was in a, I feel like I was in a flow state. I'm not worried about touching my hand. I'm not caring about that. But when I came off the coping, I came off it with very little fear that time. So I'm gonna put that in the win category for try number one. This time I'm gonna try to pick up the speed just a bit. I'm not trying to go high in the deep end. <sighs> Flow. Man. <sighs> Boy, that felt good, dude. Let's take a look at that again right now. Oh. Man, that felt, that felt really good. Should I do three? That time I rode the coping a little longer. And when I came into the grind, like here, it still feels a little off, like my timing's off. Like, but I came in faster, I feel like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot is this much to a skater. But when I came in here, I felt like my mind sort of washed out a bit. I wasn't thinking real clear. I feel like I came in a little low, but amazingly, I felt like I flowed like water. Let's do one more and we'll see if three for three proves it. We're gonna see, we're not gonna see. I got faith, I'm standing on the word. He who's in me is bigger than he who's in the world. Let's do this. I've told you guys, I've been tripping a bit on the shape of these wheels for front side grinds. Um, I got a buddy, I think, that can help me get some of these wheels wholesale. I'm gonna order a new set just for my front side stand up grind board. I'm gonna roll these into another board where I kind of do it all. But I want a front side stand up grind focus board with a new set of wheels the way Pal Peralta designed them. They're smarter than me. Yeah, I work up hacks. They might help me, but in the end, give credit where credit's due, man. These guys are pro for a reason. All right, you ready? Yeah, again, same thing. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, flow, flow. Oh my gosh, dude. All right. Hold up. Let's see that one more time. Oh my gosh, dude. You, from the comments, Whoever you were, thank you, brother. That made the biggest difference for me. Whoever you are, I hope you're watching this. Please comment below. Tell me who you are. That was huge advice. All right, dudes. There we go. Here I am. This is the uh, Action 5. I think we've all seen my S24 Ultra with the tree behind me in portrait mode so this is not portrait mode um anyway to end the day man that was positive like how much different was the results by thinking of flowing water like i literally wasn't thinking of the stick the jack and the hang up i wasn't thinking of that at all flowing like water i think that could even help the guys that are, um, you know, coming off of backside stand-up grinds who are having a trouble between that transition where you roll it out on the top of the coping 
before you can kick your back truck in. If you guys thought of yourself as flowing like water, I think you could skip that step of kicking your back truck in and just go in. Because that fear mindset, that's opposite of thinking of yourself as water. Um, thinking of yourself, water doesn't wait to hang up, right? Like it just goes. If you bent your knees, you pushed off that coping a little bit, pretended you were like on a on like a slappy grind and you kind of did the same thing to come off, you would be flowing like water. So anyway, try that someone. If you got big enough cojones, try that and report back and let me know because uh, it certainly helped me today. That I, I did I did three runs back to back. I, I didn't do any extra and that was the smoothest it's ever felt. So anyway, all right, man. You guys have a good week. Vaya con Dios, my friends. Um, and if you're not a believer, just try it. Just try it. Just, just put out a challenge to God. You know? Put out a challenge, I dare you. All right. All right, later.